this is something different. Today we're in the Mazda CX-9 Azami, which is a genuine, I'm told, genuine seven-seater. Let's find out how this goes. <laughs> so, how is everybody? Are we all in? Yeah, we're yeah. in. Good. We're in. actually quite good. We are in. We're quite good. Caro, Abby, you're in the back row. We are in the back yeah. row. Yeah. You are not blessed with six foot <laughs> legs. <laughs> But you fit in. Are, you, are we okay? Mm -hmm. Feeling spacious. Good. Good. spacious. good on the back row. Josh is probably in the middle here and he's six foot plus. Are you, everyone all right? Is everyone Josh, comfortable yeah, and well? Josh had to be in the middle because you're wearing the same top. That is what I deal with on a daily basis. Great. But, <laughs> <laughs> this is this is great. It feels like a bar. It's big. It's lovely. So who's this good for? Feeling like it, bro. Who's this good for, everybody? Sarah. Sa why Sarah? <laughs> so Sarah, one of the other team members, has got eight kids. How many? Four kids. <laughs> Plus husband. And they they'd they get in here quite well. They're, they're all big kids as well. Yeah. They'd, they'd be quite. I reckon Sarah is they're going to be the next Mazda CX-9 flying. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Um, big drinks holders everywhere. Big yeah. drinks holders everywhere. Yeah. Right right is. So if I happen if I happen <laughs> to be. <laughs> there, is some boot space. there is still boot space at the back there. Yes, we'll go through that afterwards. You have your own reading light. This is true seven seat. Yeah. Is, that, is that a seat warmer? Oh, that one? Seat, seat warmers, warmers in the back seat. Oh, there you go, the three of you. Oh, Thanks, actually, gang. Actually, I quite like these little things. So it's got like two oh, yeah, dividers good. for your books. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yes. Two dividers for your books? For mm -hmm. the kitties? Yeah, like, you know, so, yeah, like the kitties mm -hmm. have like a double. Yeah, it's like a filing cabinet in the back seat, really. Oh, I want to speak. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I think um, it's nice and quiet in here. Yeah. It was until oh, you lot got in. <laughs> oh, that's what they're for. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where do they click on to? Uh, At the top. On, on the. Yeah. So obvious. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. That was an extra with BMW. Just saying. All right, so the back, the third row is not for long journeys. You'd be moaning if you're in a, a long journey, right? But it's, there's plenty of room for. You've got your own speaker. I've got a speaker. If required. I've been moaning in a long journey. Are you okay back there? Worse than this in long journeys. Well, that is magnificent. Like airplanes are about the same sort of. Yes, I mean, sir. like mm -hmm. it. Out of ten, what would you rate it? Any How ratings? It? How much is it? Between sixty and seventy thousand. Pretty good. Like considering you find out how many people can fit here. Yeah. Exactly. It's a great family car. Yeah. My sister's got this. Love it. Well, uh, well. Out of ten, as a uh, as a big family car, big safe. Sitting in the good back family seat car. of this car, as opposed to back seat of another car, I'm gonna rate it pretty up there because it's got seat heaters, so it had mm. me at that. Okay, had Courtney at seat heaters. Yeah. Out of ten. Eight. Eight? Yeah. 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 Oh! Stuck in the back, so I yeah. think I'd go a bit lower. Okay, so what would the, honest opinions? I'd need to experience a few third row. <laughs> 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 you should make, you know, we need to do another seven seater next no. week. Okay. Do you know what? The first time I actually jumped in here, I was really quite surprised at how nice it was. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I've never driven a CX-9 before. I've been in the CX-5s. Um, all I know is that we're getting a lot, a lot of requests for seven-seaters, and I personally need an opinion on them all. Immediately when I sat in this car, it's lovely. It's a really nicely appointed interior. Um, got a nice little pop-up screen here steering wheels nice without being too thick this is all lovely it's a high gloss sort of finish um, it's got every option you need the Mazda standalone technology is not I'm not a massive fan of it but it doesn't matter whatsoever because they are one of the first I think the first 
um, seven seater in this class to have full access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, it doesn't matter how your standalone system is because that nails everything. When it comes to the engine, this isn't a car that you're going to be doing naught to 100 in silly, silly times. This is a car where it's a family car. It could be a, a, a first or a second car, whatever it is. But you don't buy this unless you're gonna be carting some, some people around, carting the family around kids. The lane change control, the distance controlling, when, you, when you've got the cruise control product on, it's really advanced. As you're cruising down maybe the freeway and you, you've got it locked on in the per person in front of you at 80 k's an hour and you go into some roadworks, let's say, and it drops down to 40 k's an hour, the cruise control, the car knows it's there, it sees it, and it adjusts the speed or, or, or reminds you of the speed accordingly. This is really pointy end technology. It's, it's very similar to the, the BMW. Uh, system in that case obviously it's not quite as refined the, the the heads up display whereas it's lovely isn't quite as large as the BMW but it's also half the price when people are asking me what seven seater do I need I'll tell you what this is this is this is very eye-opening very eye-opening great price wise you're looking early 70s as an RRP on this the range topper but we've been putting these cars on the road. Quite, we've put quite a few of them on the road, actually. The various, the various designs and specs, and we're we're, we're looking somewhere early 60s in worth. Anyway, we've got plenty of cup space to be filled with whatever nonsensical accessories. A uh, couple, a couple up here, a couple down down below. There's loads of room. I just feel like I've got all the room in the world. I look up. We've got a sunroof. It's a small sunroof. I like SUVs to have the big panoramic sunroofs, but neither here nor there. It's a really comfortable cabin. And I think this is fast becoming my favorite seven seater in this price range. So the parking is a great system. Still a little bit analog, but the, re the roof view the sky view is fantastic. And there we go, a very dodgy park, Luke, but we are in the middle, semi, and then we're back. Very impressive. 